Well, I just want to say thank you. Thank you, Jaleel Aday and your sneaky wife. <laughs> and you know what? I'm going to go ahead and throw Nick Cannon into the mix. I'm saying thank you because you guys have put out there what I've been saying and so many others have been saying this whole time. Uh, but you know what? It's one thing to, to you know, know what's going on in our community with the whole colorism. But it is on another level when it is on video. <laughs> I mean, dang, how dumb can you be? And you know what? You can tell that these guys do this type of thing like on a consistent basis because for his wife to so easily, you know, trap them into saying something so stupid, and she knew what she was doing. She was, um, she must be mad at him about something. <laughs> but she got him. So for her to do that so easily and for them to just fall into her trap, you can tell this is something that they do on a consistent basis. <laughs> That's crazy. And if I was anybody in their family, because they don't look mixed. So the guy, he looks like he comes from a black mom, black dad. I would be so embarrassed if that was my family member. Just even if it wasn't on record or, you know, and this is like behind the closed doors, which it happens a lot. This is going on constantly with our, some of our black men. And I refer to them as coons because that's what they are. Real black men would never disrespect where they come from. And never, just especially in front of other races. Like, if you have a problem with us, you direct it to us. But you can tell that these men are used to being disrespectful, you know, and it's really sad because they're disrespecting, like, their moms, their sisters. I mean... This is not like normal behavior. It's self-hate behavior. And these women, they know that you ain't right. But if they can get some money out of you and just come up, because they know the stereotypes, they know how some of these black athletes are, where they can be with a black woman to have their back, but as soon as they make it, they leave them for a white girl. <laughs> Do you think we're the only ones that know this? No, everybody knows this. And so these type of guys are okay with embarrassing their community. These type of guys don't have a problem with putting it out there and disrespecting black women. They don't care about how we might feel. They don't care, uh, you know, how their family members might feel. They only care about themselves and the fact that they just want everybody to know that they got them a white girl. It's an obsession. I've dated outside my race before. And when I've been asked why, uh, you know, what made you go with this person or like how, you know, what, what made you fall in love with this person? I never, ever, ever said, well, because, you know, black guys, <laughs> they got attitude problems. I don't want to have bad credit. I don't want to have to worry about the cops. I don't want to have to, um, I don't want to be a big mom. No, I don't talk like that. That's disrespectful because I come from a black man and being black is part of my community. And even with our negative stereotypes, I would never discuss that and speak on that to other races. Because every race and every group of people have negative stereotypes. So for one group of people, one like race to act like they're better than the next or a group of people to act like they're better than this group of people. I mean, that's, that's stupid. <laughs> that's dumb. You know, Nick Cannon, which is why I brought him into the mix, is because he made a comment, said that because back in the day, black men would get killed for looking at a white woman. So a lot of them have that mentality that I couldn't have you, now I can. And I'm going to have as many, I'm going to get as many of you as I can, as many white women as I can. And he also had mentioned something like he feels success or like he's made it or something 
along those lines would he have a white woman? Now, what would make a person announce this in front of the world? I mean, that's got to be some selfishness. That's got to be, I mean, what is wrong with you that you want the world to know how you feel about your own people and how you will uplift these other women who, you know, only dated you because you have money. If you was broke, they would not be looking at you. And you know that. But the fact that you have this obsession with white, with life, with, a, with another race, that's an obsession when you know that these people really don't care for you like that, okay? You couldn't have them if you was broke, you know? And let's say that you don't have money and you just a regular dude and you obsess again with the white woman. That's a problem. That's self hate. When I've when I've been asked why I date uh, this person, I say because I like him. He makes me laugh. Like he treats me he treats me good. You know I'm attracted to him. He's fine. <laughs> but that, now that's what you call genuine. I like this person for him. I never said, well, you know, because I want to have some light skin babies and some good hair and I want to, you know, it, it was never on a superficial, uh, you know, colorism, you know, I hate myself, uh, so I don't want, I don't want kids to look like me type deal, but I just want all the blessing I know. <laughs> Can't as a blessing, you know, because... You don't ever want to be with a man who don't like himself. And if anybody's offended by this, you need to look inside yourself and figure out why. Because I'm not talking about a, the typical, I mean, the average black man. We know y'all got love for us. There's plenty of black men out here that love black women. And again, this is not about dating outside your race and me saying, don't do it. You know, even though, I, you know, this is not about that. It's about... If the first thing that come out your mouth of the reasoning why, and it's not about, you know, uh, you like this person for them and how they treat you, but it's more so about the color of their skin, that's a problem. And also, before I go, I have seen people, I've seen black men walk around with women of other races unkept. And I say, wow. He, he won't even look at a, a fine black woman, but he'd rather be with an unkept other. <laughs> and that's also that low self-esteem, too. One, a guy told me that one reason why he don't date black women is because we have too much mouth, and he don't want to hear that if he comes home at 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning. I said, guess what? Thank you. <laughs> because you're right. We do have too much mouth, and we're not going to get disrespected. It's not that serious. We know our work. Okay, and you're not about to come in and disrespect me. So you really want to date women who are easy to get over. That's not a good thing. So, yeah, <laughs> let me know what y'all think about that video. That was crazy. All right, guys, I'm out.